Nobel laureate Mohammed Yunus will head Bangladesh's interim government after Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina resigned and fled the country following a violent crackdown on a student-led uprising. Now, this decision was made during a meeting between Bangladeshi President Shahbuddin, the coordinators of the anti-discrimination student movement and also the chiefs of the armed forces. A 13-member team from the anti-discrimination student movement went to Bangaban, which is the official residence of the Bangladeshi president, to discuss the current situation and also the outline of the interim government. According to the president's office, additional members of the government will be selected through consultations with various political parties. Meanwhile, opposition leader Khalida Zia has been released from house arrest. Zia was a long-time rival of Hasina and was convicted on corruption charges by Hasina's government in 2018. Adding to the unrest, Bangladesh Nationalist Party is all set to hold a rally in Dhaka today. BNP acting chairperson Tariq Rahman will be the chief guest and address the event, along with other central BNP leaders. The Bangladesh Police Association has also said that it is launching a strike across the country because of a lack of security after numerous police stations were attacked after Hasina's resignation. The association says that the police officers would not return to work unless the safety is assured. Protests are also growing in Bangladesh against the Awami League leaders. In the latest, bodies of at least 20 leaders of the Awami League and their family members were recovered across the country after their houses and business establishments were vandalized and looted. The Bangladeshi Supreme Court Bar Association president has now urged India to arrest Sheikh Hasina. Meanwhile, Air India airline operated a special charter flight from the Dhaka airport last night despite all kinds of infrastructure challenges and carried 199 passengers and six infants from Dhaka to New Delhi. It is still not clear if Hasina's resignation or the military chief's call for calm would be enough to end the turmoil and whether the army will have any role in the interim government. The student demonstrators have clearly warned that they will not accept or allow any kind of a military-backed government in Bangladesh.